Joseph E. Amaturo Nick Center E.N.E.'s Cantor, acquired from the Thunder in the Carmelo Anthony trade, takes a shot at some QA with post columnist Steve Serby. Q. Have you seen anyone like Chris Stapps Porzingis A.I.D.I.D.N.T. watch Dirk Nowitzki when he was in his age, but I would say maybe Dirk. But besides that, I really D.I.D.N.T. see nobody like him. Q. What makes him different? A. First of all, he can shoot like crazy. He believes that he can make every shot. It's so tough to guard him because he's quick, he's got the shot fake, he can put the ball on the floor, and he's 73. When he turns with the ball, it's just so hard to contest him because he's 73. Q. How good can he be? A. I believe that he can definitely become a Hall of Famer in the future. Q. A. Funny story about him. A. I am kind of like the nutritionist on the team. Whoever like eats really bad, I'm just saying, hey, watch out what you eat. So I just see him on a plane eating cheesecake, I gave him a look but whatever he's doing is working, I'm not gonna say nothing to him. Q. How would you describe former Thunder teammate Russell Westbrook's mentality on the court? Cantor trying to help Westbrook stop Steph Curry. APA I really like what Jason Kidd said about Russell Westbrook he's like Mike Tyson. I like that. Whenever he's on the court, he is just trying to bury you on that court. If I had a friend on a different team, if I just went up to him and said hi to him, he will start yelling at me, will start screaming at me, and sometimes he cursed at me just because I said hi to him. Because he sees everybody as the enemy when he's on that court. He doesn't take no nights off. Q. How would you describe your mentality on the court? A. First of all, my mentality was, like, oh, I'm friends with everybody, I'm so nice and whatever. But I learned a lot from Russell Westbrook. So whenever I'm on that court, I'm just like trying to bury you on that court too. I feel like it's a war. Q. How good can rookie point guard Frank Nilakina be? His vision is unbelievable. And also his defense is like at the top because his arms are so long. He's gonna be one of the top defenders, I think. Q. Because of your criticism of Turkey President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, you can't be in touch with your family. A. If I call my family right now, because the Turkish government is listening to everybody's phone in Turkey. If they know that I'm in contact with my family, they will take all of them to jail. When they came to raid my house in Turkey, they took all the electronics away, all the laptops, computers, phones and everything away. They wanted to see if I was still in contact with my family or not. That's why right now I'm just not in contact with my family. Q does that sad in UA of course. It's tough because that's your family. And they cannot come here because like they put a hold on their passport so they cannot travel. Q. You were detained for three or four hours in Romania. A. It's tough because you are playing in NBA to represent Turkey, and if your country, your own people are doing this to you, that makes you really sad. Q. What was your worst fear? A. If they would have sent me back to Turkey it would be ugly, definitely. Q. How scary has it been for you receiving death threats? A. It's tough. I mean, I'm used to it now because I've been getting death threats years now a lot. You never know where they like actually joking or not joking. Somebody could be crazy and say, okay, let's do it. You never know. I'm used to it now. I've been getting death threats almost every week. Q. How do you handle it? I just say, okay. Whatever. Q. How do you get the main most of it on social media, Twitter, Instagram a lot, Periscope a lot? They don't know my phone number or anything. Q. Why so they feel that way about you? A. Because of politics. Q people doubting you drives you away even like when I was growing up, I did get that a lot, you cannot become a basketball player. You're not gonna become an NBA player, or you're not good enough, you're this, you're that, whatever. Q how do you like playing on the big stage? A I love it. I always wanted to play for a big city. You gotta bring it every night. Q what are your personal goals? A I said it to my teammates before the season 1 want to make everyone else around me better, not just the players, the organization, the fans, my coaches, my teammates, the people who work for this team. Q give me a scouting report on you. A you'll say, first of all, box him out. Don't let him get no offensive rebounds. And with post ups, send a double team every time he touches the ball. If they let me play only on one, he'll score every time. Q you're that good only on one A I hope so, yeah smile. I believe so. Q how did you develop those skills A I used to play a lot of soccer. I love soccer. I still play soccer. A lot of footwork comes from soccer. Q Knicks coach Jeff Hornacek was an assistant coach when you were in Utah. Jeff Hornacek was an assistant coach when Cantor played for the Jazz. Getty Images A we were coming from the bench, and we were playing 5-5 five and five against the starters. He was our coach. We were down by two, I think, and we called a timeout. He drew up a play that I'm gonna shoot a three. I took my long-sleeved t-shirt off, and I made the shot. 
I think he was always the smartest guy in the room. Q described Knicks fans. A before I come here, actually I was kind of scared because people were saying that the Knicks fans, you miss a couple of shots, you get a couple of turnovers, they're gonna boo you. But after a game here, man, I realized that they know basketball. If you win, you lose, it don't matter, Madison Square Garden's gonna be full every game. They're always supportive, they're clapping for you, they cheer for you, but they just want to see that you're competing out there, you're not taking no days off, you're just going out there play physical, bring a lot of energy. So I think that's what they want to see. Q if you could go only on one with any big man in history. Aha Kim Olajuwon. QYA I watch his clips a lot, and I learn a lot from him. I actually met him, so he's an amazing guy. Q how do you think you'd do against him a eh? right now smile right now pretty good. Back in the day I don't know. Not so good maybe laugh. Q why were you interested as a kid in becoming an astronaut a when I was growing up, it was just so interesting to me, all the stars, moon, sun, whatever, I still want to go to space one day. Q any particular place say anywhere safe. Q how about the moon a you'll go to moon, yeah, for sure. It's so interesting to me. Q why don't you think there's life on Mars a they found water, I think the atmosphere, it's not made for people to just go there and live. You never know, maybe they'll find something else. Q after basketball, pro wrestling A in Kentucky, I was watching it a lot. It looked cool to me, I guess. And my favorite was Undertaker. And I was like, you know what after basketball, you're done like 35, 36 and you got nothing to do the rest of your life. It was like why not become a pro wrestler Q would you be a villain or good guy A I haven't decided, he'll probably be a good guy. I don't want to hear no booze, I don't want to get nothing thrown at, you know what I mean Q are you recognized around town A yeah? A lot. Q how do you feel about it A those people are your fans, and you always gotta be nice to em. You need to watch every step you take because all those kids, all those people are watching what you're doing, so that's a lot of responsibility. Q you don't have a girlfriend. What kind of girl would you want A not the one at the bars or just going out and getting crazy. Q if you were was NBA commissioner, you would, A I wouldn't put a statement out there to say all players cannot take knees. Whatever they feel like, they do it. Q if you were president of the United States, you would, I take the example of Prime Minister of Canada. I would just open up my arms to everybody. Q it was your experience at Kentucky A it was really good because I learned my second language there. They made me student assistant coach. But he John Calipari told me, you're still part of our family. Every practice was my game. Q where do you get good Turkish food A it's New York, you can get good Turkish food everywhere. There's actually a really good one in White Plains, like 5 minute walk from my house. And there's a really good one in New Jersey. And there's a really good one in Manhattan, it's my favorite. Abba restaurant. Q what do you eat there A I stopped eating red meat, but if I was eating red meat, my favorite probably was Iskander, I only eat like fish or chicken. Probably like chicken kebab or something. Q who was your boyhood idol A I always wanted to be my own person. I really didnt want to idolize nobody. Q who are athletes in other sports you admire A Cristiano Ronaldo, Roger Federer, Michael Phelps. Q do you have any game day superstitions A I come here to the Greenberg practice facility, I eat egg whites, granola and fruit. After the practice, I eat granola again. And I go home, I eat a salad, then I go to sleep. And then, I come to game, I eat something light, rice whatever. Before the game one drink a coffee, and then I go out play basketball. Q hobbies A I love swimming. Probably my favorite hobby is just doing charity work. Q why is that so important to you A because, I mean, all those kids are idolizing you, now you play for New York Knicks, and all those kids are just like really happy to see you and you play basketball with them and tell them, okay, it's really cool to play basketball, whatever, but education is always number one. Always stay in school. Keep doing your homework. Listen to your parents and teachers. It's just really important and priceless to put a smile on kids' faces. Q3 dinner guests can't or would like to have dinner with Donald Trump and Barack Obama. Getty Images A Martin Luther King, Michelle Obama, Trump. Dinner with Trump, I just ask him, what's wrong with you? Q favorite movie A Home Alone. Q favorite actor A Jim Carrey. Q favorite entertainer A Kevin Hart. Q favorite meal A Wild Salmon. QA message to Knicks fans about you. A I just want to say, you guys are like my family. I'm gonna treat you like my family. And I want them to do the same thing to me. Q you're more like your mom than dad A if she see one sad news on TV, she would start crying. There is like 8 people just got killed in Manhattan. And we had a moment of silence before the Houston game.
I cried, because I really feel bad for the city, for all those people and everything. Because all those people are innocent people. They got kids, they got families, they got all kind of stuff. It was really sad to see all those people are just getting killed. It was terrible. Q what's going on in this country AI I heard like a really good saying why do we always rest in peace why do we never live in peace I love that comment. I think the most important thing in life for me just leave our differences on the table and try to find what we have in common. Because it doesn't matter if you're tall, short, black, white, straight, not straight whatever. We're all human. We're all brothers and sisters and we all come from one.